Hey there everybody and welcome back. Uh, so for today's video I just thought I'd show off my Michael Matheson collection. Uh, I know it might be kind of a weird thing to PC Michael Matheson. Um, I just I believe in him right like I think he's gonna be a big part of Montreal's uh, future going forward. Um, I think he's gonna be that that veteran defenseman Oh, that's that's really going to help the young guys like the Reinbachers and the the Ghoulies and the Jakai and Hudson and oh Justin Barron, Jordan Harris. <laughs> like they just got so many. They're so deep right now in defense, right? And somebody's got to teach these guys. And I think Michael Matheson is going to be that that guy, right? Um, so we'll just dig in here. Uh, so the. First, I'm gonna just show some some autos. They're they're sticker autos. So so here's a, a black diamond uh, gemography. Uh, most of these are they're so affordable, right? Like Michael Matheson doesn't have a huge presence in the in the hobby. Like I mean, he's not worthless, but he he's certainly not you know in the upper echelon. That is for certain. But he does have a great auto. Like I mean, look at that. Compared to most of the modern players, I think he's he's. Uh, He's a five-star auto. Um, so we got the SPX Whiteout auto. This is a nice one, fairly thick card too. And an SP Game Used. This is another sticker auto. And we got a Signature Sensations. I think this was his second year. I think this is like an Upper Deck Series 1 or Series 2 insert. Uh, a couple of these hot prospect from Fleer showcase, showcase. Again, these are like they're just so so affordable, right? Like you just put in a joke bid of like two dollars, and you win one, and you're like, oh wow, okay, I have two now. So that, that's how I wound up with two. Um, so we got a nice signature puck from Trilogy. I like these signature pucks; they're kind of cool, and uh, his auto looks nice on on there. So. Yeah, it's a nice nice card to have in the PC. So we're gonna get into the RPAs now. Uh, so here's another uh, Hot Prospects one. Uh, just a two color, but I thought it looked kind of neat. So I, you know, added it to the collection. I, you know, could certainly upgrade from there. That's for certain. So we got an Ultimate Collection. So this is a three color patch. Uh, that's a nice one, I think. Um, certainly upgradable but I think it's pretty good for now and then we got this nice one uh, autograph debut threads from ultimate collection again very upgradable but uh, you know for the price point on these guys super cool to have in the collection and another one from ultimate collection uh, ultimate rookies so th this is where it gets confusing for me with modern cards like I was out of the hobby for quite a while and things had started to get expansive when when I was collecting you know where you'd have like so, so like you know for example SP authentic which is still a big one you know they they had they would have the three different rookies right you'd have your your unsigned future watches your future watch autos and then they'd have the auto patches. And I remember the auto patches at the time, people were like, well, yeah, but it's not a rookie. It's not a rookie. It's not a rookie. And, you know, the auto patches, I think, are generally worth more than what the what the Future Watch autos are. But in any event, uh, so here we got another one from Ultimate Collection, another nice autograph patch. This one's out of 25. Um, nice looking patch. And another one. From Ultimate Collection, uh, another cool patch there, and this one's numbered out of 65, I believe. I don't know which one of these is actually the rookie. Uh, they all look pretty cool to me, so I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd snatch them all up. Um, so this is the, this is the first one I added to my, to my Michael Matheson collection. I just was thumbing through. I was like, oh, Michael Matheson, that's cool. And then I saw this card, and I was like, holy smokes. That is a pretty wicked patch. Um, I think I paid like 35 for this. Maybe 40. I don't know. 35 sounds about right. Um, 
but yeah, super cool patch, uh, Premier Collection. Pretty sure this this is uh, this is his actual rookie patch from here from Premier Collection. Um, nice hard signed, you know, great start to the PC I thought. So there's that guy. So now we got uh, his Future Watch Auto. Got to have that right if you're gonna PC a, a guy and they've got a Future Watch Auto. You got to get one right. Um, so I'm going to hold off these next two here, Let's sort of save the, save the best one for last kind of deal. Um, so then I, got, I managed to get a couple draft day marks. Um, obviously, you know, you want to put together the whole last name. I'm working on it. I got two. So uh, I got the S and the O. So that's 5 of 35. And nine of thirty-five, so that's pretty cool. So then we'll okay. So obviously we just saw that. So that's the Future Watch Auto, and here is uh, the first Future Watch Auto patch of his that I got. I got this off eBay. I thought, hey man, that is a super super duper cool patch. Um, that's awesome, right? Super happy with that. And then I got. I just got this other one that came in and uh, it's an upgrade to this and I thought it was pretty cool and I had to have it and yeah I don't know to me I think that's a cooler patch not that there's anything wrong with this one but I do feel like it's an upgrade um, I may eBay that one just to sort of recoup some of the cost out of that one part of me wants to keep it but um i don't know this is super cool uh i would say the centerpiece of my matheson collection at this stage the one corner is a little not great right there if you can see that but everything else is looking pretty good um so there are a couple that have a patch window like this that are from the cup uh, and they're I don't know if they're like 3.30 and people are asking for them. Which, I, you know, my heart says that's overpriced, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to acquire those. They'd look nice next to this, I think. Um, yeah, in any event, that's my Michael Matheson PC. Uh, is there anybody that you guys collect that's, you know, doesn't have much of a presence in the hobby that you just like, right? You just believe in them or you just appreciate their role right like i mean matheson's a good defenseman you know like he, he's gonna get a fair share of points uh you know especially with the ice time he's gonna get um and again i think he's gonna be mentoring the the younger the younger guys but you know l l let me know who you pc that that's maybe not that big of a deal or what are your thoughts on matheson right like any comments are great Obviously, uh, this channel is just, just starting to really get going, I guess. I got a few subscribers now, which is cool. And people have actually watched the videos. Uh, so that, that's super cool to see. Because um, some of my videos <laughs> didn't even have anything. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the hobby. Give some cards to some kids. Have a great day. All right, bye.